kind of went over that already. Flip over to 2 Corinthians chapter 11. So I brought this up briefly. I'll go a little bit more into detail. You know, the devil wants to try to destroy you by getting you into sin. So one of the ways he's going to do that is making sin look attractive, right? And we see there's, there's many obvious ways and many not so obvious ways. Uh, I, think, I think a real obvious example is like Las Vegas, right? You can look at Las Vegas from afar and what do you have? All these statues and monuments and buildings and structures that are magnificent structures, right? You could go and marvel at the engineering that goes into it and all the lights and flashing and sounds and you know all the things that draw people wow this is so cool this is amazing you know you walk into a place and it's like a big palace right they have caesar's palace the king's palace you walk in and it's designed with all their pillars and and all of this money poured into these places and you can go in and and have servants wait on you and be treated like royalty and come down to our buffet and whatever right and and it's all a show. It's putting a jewel in a pig's snout, when, and, and even worse than a pig, when you think about the wickedness and filth and the sin that goes on in Las Vegas. Yeah, that's right. They, they try to make it look appealing and fun and roller coasters, all this stuff, but anyone who's walked down the streets knows how full of filth the city is. You can't even, if you're trying to look down, the last, it's been, I don't even know how long since I've been there last. The last time I went there, I vowed never to go there again. I don't ever want to go to Las Vegas ever again. Because, I, you know, last time I was there, I was already saved and I was going there for like a wedding or something, right? Not for fun, not or anything else. It was a close family friend and I was going to a wedding and we're down there and it's like, you can't look up anywhere because they have digital billboards everywhere. And they're promoting filth and you know strip clubs and whatever and you walk by on the street and you can see these places and there's you know women up ha partially dressed and, and dancing you know it's just this stuff is in your face everywhere you go so if you try to just look down and be like well i'm just going to look down so i don't have to be exposed to this stuff the whole ground is littered with all these these advertisements for all the strip clubs and escort services and all the other filth that goes on there you cannot get away from it at that place. It's horrible. It's wicked. But they draw people there. They draw you with all this stuff. Oh, we'll give you a free night stay and we'll give you this and we'll give you that so you can come in and, and waste all of your money through covetousness. Come in and, and, and sit down and we'll treat you like you're great so we can just take all of your money. And we'll, throw, we'll, we'll flash up some people. Oh, look at all, look, this person won a million dollars. This person won $100,000. And they have a picture of someone holding a lot of cash. And throw that money in front of your eyes to get you coveting and wanting that quick buck and, and sitting down and basically, you know, end up losing all your money. Right. But I went once and I won. Okay. You go back again, you're going to lose. Just look at the, you know, the buildings that they build to draw you there. That wasn't built just from their own money. <laughs> they keep building this stuff up. It's your money. It's everyone else's money that goes into these places that go and people literally lose their life savings and retirement and, and because they get addicted to this covetous practice of gambling. 